we've built a human-powered bicycle capable of highway speeds. We make human-powered vehicles because it challenges us as engineers to approach vehicle design from the perspective of energy conservation and efficient design and doing more with our human engine. To break the world record, you need a rider who can output as much power as possible, but you need to put them in a vehicle that is itself as efficient as possible. Ada is the first bike we've designed specifically to break the record. The first step is to put the rider in a recumbent position. This reduces the frontal area and hence the aerodynamic drag substantially. With the drag reduced, the rider can achieve a greater speed with the same amount of power. The next step is to enclose the bike in a shell as small as physically possible. The aerodynamic design process uses computational fluid dynamics and a lot of experience to design a smooth shape that promotes extended laminar flow. The frame and shell are made almost entirely of carbon fiber because this makes it incredibly light, but also strong and stiff and easily molded to the precise required shapes and curves. We've designed three bikes in the past. Unlike our previous bikes, Ada doesn't have a head bubble or a windscreen for the rider to see out of. Instead, the rider steers by video screen seeing through two tiny cameras placed on top of the bike. It takes a little bit of getting used to, um, not in the sense that it's difficult to drive, it's kind of like driving a video game, but just in the sense of actually feeling that connection that you're blasting down a highway at over 100 kilometers an hour. The vision system is just one part of the onboard computer, which includes GPS, power pedals, and an on-screen data display. With data from the onboard computer, the pilot can time the final sprint precisely. Ada's wheels are spinning three times faster than an average road bike, and so the gear ratio is much higher. To keep the shell small and low drag, all of the internal components are packed very tightly around the rider. For example, at top speed, the wheels are spinning at 1200 RPM, just four millimeters away from their aerodynamic enclosure. Your leg is rubbing the side of this, your thigh is rubbing the side of the fork, your knee is just clearing the derailleur, and your knees are, the top of your knees are clearing the frame. The shape of the seat and the shoulder pads effectively hold the rider in place, making the rider one with the bike. We put our bike on the road as much as possible this year. Getting the bike on the road gave us the chance to debug everything that didn't work the way that we thought it would. The result of all of this work is ADA.